Good evening, campers, and welcome aboard the Starship Nightwish. I'm Commander Exorcist, and welcome to my first partner reveal for uh, Elite Dangerous. We're going to be talking about Update 16, so you get one warning, one warning right now. In a moment, everything that I say is spoiler territory. So if this is not something you want to know about that you would like to experience on your own, stop the video now. You can come back later. I've specifically set the thumbnail for this video to be this Thargoid picture. And later on, after the content has been uh, released and is in the wild for a little while, and everyone has had an opportunity to experience it on their own, then I'll probably change the picture. But for now, this is what we're going with. So this is your final warning. Um, everything beyond this point is heavy spoiler territory because update 16 is absolute nightmare fuel. It really is. It's going to introduce a new vehicle. And with this new vehicle comes um, the visual realization of something that we've known in, in terms of Elite Dangerous lore for a long time. So that's it. Warning's over. Let's get started. Um, yeah, update 16 is upon us, just a few days away at the publication of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Scythe, and it is a hunter-class Thargoid vessel, similar to the Glaive that we got in update 15. Now, my first look at this was like, okay, yeah, it's all right. But the more I look at it, actually the more terrifying it gets. Um, it's got the basic uh, Thargoid death flower design um, to the overall vehicle itself. But if you look in the front, it's got these insect-like pinchers that are reaching out. It's really kind of sticking still to you know, the, the general design of the Thargoids and the insect-like approach to their technology. But it's got these claws that are coming out. It's reaching out to you. Now, this is a, another shot of the scythe, and uh, it's heading toward a Coriolis, and this is from the back side. So you can kind of get a, a sense there on the side of the pincher sticking out of the front of it. Um, there's a little more space between the pedals, for this um, particular ship. And then uh, here is a really good shot of, uh, of it's kind of reaching out for you. And that's, you know, this image right here is, is very powerful in terms of explaining what this ship does. Now, we don't know a lot about its purpose. We know its function because its function is the stuff of nightmares because we've known for a while throughout elite history, um, that the Thargoids have taken um, hostages, prisoners of war, whatever. They have captured commanders and people during our conflicts throughout the years. But this is the first time that we've really seen it happen. And this right here, I think, is a, uh, is a, really, is a very terrifying and new development in the... Uh, in the Thargoid War, and just kind of in elite dangerous lore in general. Like I said, we've known about this before. We've known that the Thargoids have taken people, or that people have quote-unquote disappeared when dealing with the Thargoids. Well, now here you go. We have what appears to be a uh, Thargoid limpet coming down and snatching up uh, escape pods. So... In those times when you're fighting the Thargoids and your ship gets blown up, and you may not always be able to count on the rescue rangers to come in and, and save the day. It looks like uh, we may be faced with a uh, much more terrifying alternative because here we are faced with Thargoid limpets that are coming down and capturing commanders or capturing pilots. Uh, for what purpose? No idea yet, um, but you can see here on the screen it's a it's kind of a like a claw. It's it's a claw with a propulsion system, and there's some kind of a shield generator. I'm assuming that's a force field generator that is scooping up uh, this escape pod. So there is no escape from the scythe, and it's um, 
horrifying mission, whatever uh, whatever that comes out to be. Here you can see uh, a shot of the scythe as it's launching uh, these limpets to scoop up um, escape ponds. Now I think it's interesting that this is what Frontier wants to focus on for this update is not the fact that we have a new hunter class vehicle, but this particular feature of that hunter. It is not just hunting ships, but it's hunting individual human beings. And so I think that, I, I don't know. I have a couple of theories. Um, I don't know if you, I don't know if any of you ever watched Battlestar Galactica, the, the reboot, but toward the end there was, and, and in the, I think it was in the movie, there was some hints about p potential, um, you know, like showing some of the research the Cylons were doing into human beings and some of the like horrific splicing with technology and, and, and living tissue that they were doing. And, and I can't help but wonder if the Thargoids are potentially going down that kind of route. Um, you know, it's, it's well documented that uh, we've been experimenting with Thargoid technology and um, I can't think of any off the top of my head and I, I should know, but um, I'm sure that we've experimented on actual Thargoids before. So to, uh, to think that the Thargoids would not be capturing and experimenting on human beings for the betterment of their race and uh, for the outcome of their war, nah, that's, uh, that's foolish. That's a foolish thought. So here we have the scythe. So this is the big, the big bad coming for update 16. Um, this is not all that is coming for update 16. Obviously, I'm sure there'll be um, a couple of little things here and there. We've also been promised a few quality of life improvements. But, you know, this is terrifying. <laughs> this is a creepy, um, this is a creepy thing because it really shows this is something we've known in the lore but this is the first time that we've seen it and so that sense of safety to where if you were to eject out of your ship rescue rangers come along take you home you get to try it again this this should really take away a lot of that safety do i think this is going to happen for individual commanders no not really um this is more a showcase backdrop to show you kind of um, this is flavor stuff and what's happening in the war. But it's still creepy and, and terrifying in the sense that imagine somebody's ship getting blown up, they escape for safety, and then they're picked up by this scythe and these uh, Thargoid limpets. So that's extremely, uh, it's extremely unsettling. So, um, yeah, so we've got update 16. To Elite Dangerous Odyssey, it was supposed to be originally released on July 31st. It will be released on August 1st. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to that. And I don't know. I, I like this. Um, these updates have been kind of a slow burn for different things. But I think that something like this is, it's yes, it's a spaceship. Yes, it's an alien spaceship. But this is a heavy focus on individual pilots. For what purpose? No idea. What if the Thargoids are taking individual pilots back to their laboratories and messing with their brains and planning to launch some kind of Thargoid human hybrid invasion force? Um, you know, it would be really something to turn the corner and find your uh, a friend who was abducted by the Thargoids with tentacles coming out of his head trying to attack you on behalf of the Far God. There's all kinds of terrifying. Um, alternatives and things that can uh, that can come down the pike. This is just tinfoil hat stuff off the top of Commander Exorcist. So, yeah, don't take it for gospel. This is just kind of... I think there's something more to this. And we haven't been told, because if I had and I was allowed to say something, I would. But I, I don't know. I don't know what these things do. All we know is that they're picking up pilots and and it's really creepy. It's a creepy term, but I like these. Uh, I like the site's design. Um, I think it's really cool with the pinchers kind of reaching out. Really um, gives like an earwig kind of feeling. It's creepy, and then the uh, the thargoid limpets are an awesome, awesome addition to the fleet. Hey, the disciples, thank you for keeping the channel going. If you'd like to support, Patreon.com/forward/slash Commander Exorcist. I'm not going to talk a lot tonight. 
don't want to ramble much because I just wanted to get this out here and get you guys um, going. Update 16 hits next week. So hope that uh, hope to see what you're doing out there. Get out, share some videos and some pictures. And um, yeah, let's see what kind of crazy stuff is coming from the site because I have a feeling that what we're seeing is just the beginning of this kind of activity. So I don't know. What's next? Abductions from ground? From the ground? Maybe a beam that comes down and lifts you up off of a surface settlement? I don't know. I'm just spitballing, but um, it's a universe of possibility out there. All right, well, good luck, everyone. Uh, take care, fly safe, watch your backs, and I will see you out there. Good night, Commanders.